this is a really important friend and it's for you okay this is my Christmas gift to you okay I want you to think back to when you were a little kid okay and I want you to think about the smell when you would wake up on Christmas Day that nice cozy warm smell from the fireplace or just from the heat whatever it may be and I want you to think about seeing the gray sky outside and I want you to think about seeing all of those presents under the Christmas tree on that morning now can you remember the joy and the happiness you felt when you opened up those presents and you saw that you got every single thing you wanted You'd been waiting all year for it and you finally got that toy you wanted, that video game you wanted, or those clothes you wanted, or those shoes you wanted, or maybe even the car you wanted. Do you remember that feeling? Well, let me tell you something. God celebrates Christmas too. And you might be thinking, well, God's kind of the father of Jesus, so he kind of already has to celebrate Christmas. But God has something he wants for Christmas you he doesn't want anything you have he doesn't want you to buy you anything that's not what I mean what I mean is God wants you he wants you for him he wants your heart he wants to be in your life that is the only thing God wants this Christmas is a relationship and as a matter of fact, he wants a relationship so bad that he gave his son, Jesus Christ, on Christmas Day. For some people, it might be a different day, but in my family, we celebrate it on December 25th. God gave his son, Jesus Christ, as an atonement, as a sacrifice, saying, I want to be with you and I want to be in a relationship with you so much that I'm willing to give my own son because God saw something we couldn't see sin now I have to say this in a Christmas message even though you know I this is what I really want to give you on Christmas is the message of Jesus Christ before God gave his son for us we were separated from him and even today in the world there are millions upon millions of people who are separated from him and will be separated from him this Christmas from sin, by sin. And I would ask you, are you separated from God by sin? You might be thinking, what is sin? Sin is when we disobey God, whether willingly or unwillingly, we have all sinned. Lusting after someone is a sin. Hating someone is a sin. Being angry or grumpy is a sin. Being prideful is a sin. Being boastful is a sin. Lying is a sin. Idolatry is a sin, which idolatry is something we put before God and God's needs. Presence. Materialistic things are idolatry. But see, God loves you so much. He doesn't love those things about you, but He loves you. And he loves you so much that he was willing to send his son to this earth to die by his own creation as a sacrifice if there was just one chance of having a relationship with you. And by Jesus Christ's death, not only can our sins be forgiven, but we are able to have a relationship, we're able to go to heaven, we're able to be free from any addiction we may have, such as pornography or alcohol or drug addiction. We celebrate these things on Christmas because we know what Jesus Christ has done for us. And we know what he did for us, which was, as the Bible said in John 3.17, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Do you want to be set free? Right now is your choice and you are not going to leave this video the same way if you choose yes or no you will not be the same and that's not me being harassing that's just me 
speaking the truth. You can accept Christ or you can reject Christ. Maybe you saw this video from promotion, but I do believe that God has a purpose for you and I do not believe that you are seeing this by accident. I do not believe, even if you were told that I made this video, I don't believe that you are seeing this by accident. I believe that God has a purpose for you viewing this video. But let me finish up by saying this because I'm already at six minutes in. God might be happy with the people he has with him right now. He might be happy, but he's not satisfied. He wants more people to be with him because he wants to be joyful this Christmas, knowing that all of his children are with him and that nobody is far, nobody has gone from him, nobody is, is still living in darkness. He wants to know that you are safe and sound and in a relationship with him and that your sins are forgiven and he wants to know that if his son returns this Christmas day, he will see you with him. And I want to say this. God's heart right now, as, I'm, as you are watching this, let me see, I think I'm going to post this on Christmas day, so Christmas morning. So, God's heart right now is happy, and you know, his heart is put together, but there is one piece missing. And I feel sure you've heard this analogy before, but, you know, I'm... Whatever. God's heart is missing one piece. His heart is like a puzzle right now. He's missing one piece. And you know, a puzzle can't be complete if it's not missing a piece. It has to have all the pieces to be complete and finished. And God's heart is like that right now, this Christmas day. Are you that missing piece? Look deep into yourself and ask yourself, am I right with Christ? Or do I need to accept Him? And I can promise you this, accepting Christ, and I'm not saying this because I was raised Christian, I'm saying this because first-hand experience, when you accept Jesus Christ, it is a roller coaster. And it is, honestly, I'd probably say the best choice I've ever made. And I don't think you'll regret it either if you sincerely repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. And so, uh, that's about it. And uh, I hope this Christmas video has given you a new meaning to Christmas, that it's not just about presents, it's not just about food, it's not just about music, it's not just about, you know, being family and as great as those things are. It's about the birth of Jesus Christ. And I want to ask you, this Christmas, this day, choose who you are going to serve. But as for me and my house, it is going to be the Lord. And until the next one, friend, may God be with you. You're going to need him. And have a very Merry Christmas.